the, the average age of the plants inside the National District is about 56 years of, of the equipment in the hydropower plants. Over the years, we've seen a, a decrease in reliability and, and having equipment casualties, and, and we had to explore ways to be able to fix these. In uh, 2000, in the Water Resources Development Act, in Section 212 of that act, we were authorized to take customer money from, from preference customers uh, through SEPA to put that investment back into the, the system and do rehabilitation projects on the plants in the Cumberland River system. Uh, in August of 2011, we entered into a 20-year agreement with those preference customers to do rehabilitation work to a uh, total program value of somewhere just over $1 billion worth of work. Uh, part of that work is to do major plant rehabs where we would actually go in and rewind the generation units and, and potentially replace the turbines that drive the units uh, and work on some of the equipment that, that uh, controls and regulates the generators and gets the energy out to the, the grid uh, so that the uh, users can uh, have access to that when they turn the switch on at their house. One of the benefits that we get out of this, in, in addition to just added longevity to the equipment and the ability to generate, is an increase in efficiency of the units, which means that we can use uh, less water and produce more power, and we get better reliability. And so what that equates to in the long run is it helps us maintain lower electric rates, uh, end rates to the customers because the cost of the core's power that's marketed through SEPA does not go up to the end user.